Hi everyone, we're Person in Person. This is Rachel and I'm Dolores and we are here with your September market update. What's going on in your report, Rachel? Yeah, so for the month of September, 21 sold 935,000 was the average list price. The average sale price was 900,000. 22 days on market, 33 days till offer. Wow, well, well, yeah. very different condos. Condos, 23 sold, 750,000 average list price, 742 average sale price, so not that huge of a difference. Mm-hmm. Uh, 24 days till offer, 37 days on market. So in the wonderful town of Newbury, five homes sold. Mm-hmm. And what was the sale price that, over there, Rachel? So the average list price was uh, $1,069,000. The average sale price was one million. One hundred three thousand. <laughs> average days till offer six. Short. Days on market seventeen. And so I looked at all the properties that sold. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like there was new construction or anything like that. That uh, out of the five, four went over asking, uh, and one was under asking. Mm-hmm. So interesting. Yeah, general difference. market shifts are definitely happening, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But yeah, so let's talk about your town that you live in, West, West Newbury. Newbury. Yeah, how many sales were there over there? Two, two. Well, two single family homes yeah. sold. Uh, nine seventy two five mm-hmm. average list. Nine sixty average sale. So we're still a little less than. A little, L- little, little than bit that. less than list. Yeah. Uh, twenty two days till offer. Mm-hmm. Seeing a little bit of a pattern here. Um, 41 days on market and then there was one condo yeah one condo it was listed for 539.9 it sold for 515 it had six days to offer and it went immediately to um, purchase and sales oh, great. so uh, yeah I mean surprising that there was a condo to sell in West Newbury right. but there aren't, there aren't many, that's for no. sure. Uh, one thing we were talking about this morning was the Amesbury market and how the yeah. Amesbury market has been on fire. We've like been talking crazy. about this like all year. But even more so. But, but more e- dramatic difference between Newbury Port and Amesbury. Right, Bay because Bay. You, historically we would say, well, the market in Newbury Port is always hot, mm-hmm. right? But in Ames, so we're seeing a little bit of cooling in Newbury Port, while Amesbury, on the other hand, has not. So there were 14 that sold in Amesbury in September. Single families, yep. The average sale price, I mean, sorry, the average list price was 656, okay? The average sale price was 693,000. Average days till offer was 11, average days on market was 25. And now I looked at these, because I I wanted to get a good understanding instead of just looking at the averages and the ones that went over asking went over asking. I'm talking 75, 100,000. One, the one Cheryl had listed on the river went like 200,000 over asking. Mm-hmm. And then the rest were list price. Yeah. They went for list price. So it was, you know, kind of a, a combination of holy cow and. Were they mostly higher priced properties that sold for considerably over, or were they lower priced? Ah, uh, they all across all, across, all the across the board. It was it was different. Good, yeah, interesting. And, and what about the condos? There's going to be a ton of closings over there in December and January with our dear friend and colleague Chris Horan building the beautiful church property. Yeah, right downtown um, on Main Street. Right downtown, but mm-hmm. uh, not beautiful. many have closed. I don't think any have closed yet. No, so. December, December looking at yeah. yep. so delivery. Eight yeah. condos have sold in Amesbury, and mm-hmm. talk about the pricing there, Rich. Yeah, so 436 was the average list price. 434 average sale price uh 29 days till offer 41 days on market so i guess what this tells us is that the single family home market in amesbury is crazy much lower price point average though when you right. think about that in comparison to the other towns well newbury port was in the nines right yeah and, and this is in the sixes mm-hmm. um but that's kind of the traditional proportion between amesbury and newbury port so that hasn't yeah. changed no i think the the buyer pool um, I think what we're going to see a, a, a bit of is that first-time buyers 
um, are being squeezed because of the interest rates. But yeah. I, I really feel like the trade-up buyer is being squeezed more than anybody because they are sitting on two and a half or two and three quarters percent interest mm -hmm. rates on their mortgage. A year ago, they'd say, oh, well, if I, I, let's say they're at three and a quarter. We're at three and a quarter. And so if we sell a house and we go up 200000 or $300,000 at our price point to get what we want, yeah. the payment's not going to go up that much right. because the rate is lower than what they had carrying. Now yeah. they're in the reverse problem of they're carrying a, a three or sub three uh, percentage loan. Yeah. And when they go to buy, they're looking at 6%. So 6%. Yeah, depending on the lender. Yeah. yeah. Um, as always, we really like our portfolio lenders for rates. Um, those are things like the Institution for Savings, um, Bangor Bank, Bangor. Salem Five. Yeah. Those are the banks that are lending you your, their own money. Yeah. So there's an advantage to those, but they also always usually carry a high credit score requirement. So mm -hmm. your mortgage lenders are super creative, and those are the people like um, Monument and Fairway. Mm -hmm. um, that are going to turn around and say, well, this is a program you can work with that's going to help you in your particular situation. Yeah, for so, sure. Yeah, yeah, so that's that's a, a big shift. I think that one thing that is coming clear to me, though, is if you need a bigger house or you need a spare room or if you need to be near your parents who are going to babysit your new baby, mm -hmm. you still need to move. So yeah. we have creative solutions, so reach out to us and we'd be happy to share those with you. Yeah. Thanks so much and have a great October.